FOXP2 is a gene that was found in our nucleotides, and it is something that sets us completely apart from any other animal. And scientists have suggested that that gene alone is responsible for language. And there is absolutely no evidence of origin or that this thing somehow mutated from the animal kingdom towards us. So this gene exists out of nowhere without any origin. So my question is, is it possible that this gene was given to us or grafted into us by extraterrestrials in the remote past? And the answer is yes. Was it the same non-human ancient aliens of so many ancient settlements on this planet deciding that they wanted humans to be able to communicate at a more sophisticated level? I think that's the fundamental angst today among people trying to understand who are we in relationship to extraterrestrials that may have been manipulating DNA on this planet for thousands of years. Might the evidence of our alien origins really have been passed down to us implanted in our genetic code, as ancient astronaut theorists believe? Perhaps further evidence can be found, not by scientists, but by religious scholars that claim Adam and Eve really did exist. The Hebrew Bible. In it, the book of Genesis describes how God created the first two humans, Adam and Eve, in the Garden of Eden, and told them to go forth and multiply. For centuries, scientists and theologians have debated whether this story of the creation of man was mere myth or historical fact. The Torah mentions that humanity is made out of the dust of the earth and that God breathed life into this to make us animated. Here is the breath of soul, the breath of vitality, the divine breath, which suggests that we, the spark, the life force that makes a human body tick is divine in its nature. 